Hey guys, I'm Spikeosaurus and welcome back to another episode on the Comcraft server. Now last time I um, looked at, well let me just run over there really quick. So last time when I flew over to the iron farm I noticed this thing and uh, I realized it was just, you know, one of my friends helping me optimize the farm. Oops, got another text. But I also noticed that he was doing something a little more. Wait, Cameron, I gotta eat some fish first. I also noticed that he was working on something else over here, which which I don't know what it is. Uh, we're checking it out for the first time right now. I did notice some beacons, though I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, wow. Uh, this is pretty sweet. So this is uh, Chin Bat's home. Let's check out what this is. Turn on aim here. I don't even know. I don't know what aim is. Maybe Maybe that was it. I'm not sure. Ooh, and some stone too. Super cool. Let's see if we can get in here. Probably not, huh? But he's I see some chests. <laughs> and he's got yeah, this is this is a sweet looking place. I hope we can we can develop this area a little bit more. This is cool too. Well done, well done. Well, lagging out. Hey, there's a rabbit. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna work a little bit on this. I forgot, oh yeah, I wanted to build a, uh, a fish farm, so hopefully we can do that in this episode. Uh, the reason I've been uploading the past two episodes sort of late in the day is because I've been climbing. So if you wanna check out that video, I'll put it in the description. Here's like a snippet. <laughs> So yeah, if uh, you're interested in watching a climb video, feel free to follow the link there. Anyways, I am going to, well, so I don't know if that stone was for me or not, but what I do know is that I probably have a sufficient amount of stone going on over here. Please tell me I have an electron. Cool. Um, I, I started getting the roof fixed on that, but I didn't, whoa, whoa. Calm down, computer. All right, let's check out. Hopefully we've got enough stone, then we'll just, oh man. Things are not happy right now. I'm gonna go into a lighter version of the shader. Hopefully, hopefully that fixes things. No need to smell stone. Use pick at my stone farm. Oh, that would explain uh, what we just encountered. <laughs> but we uh, bing bing bong bong bong. <laughs> so, well, I'm just gonna let these run because we can. But that's good to know that he is looking out for us like that. All right, that looks like enough stone to me. Let's get grinding on this uh, this here table. Oh, you know what I realized? Oh, rockets, we got rockets, we're good, we're good. All right, so I'm just gonna run through getting all this stone put up and then I'll see you in a second. Okay, I just finished up that, but now I need to figure out how, um, how much I want the perimeter, how long how wide I want the perimeter to be. Um, right now this is eight blocks off of like the wall. Okie dokie. So I, I don't know, I think I think eight, I don't know if eight is too much. That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. But we'll go ahead and throw in six and if I feel like I need more, we'll, we'll go for eight. But for, for now, we'll try six. All right, um, that finishes up. This is, I, I'm pretty sure I made it eight by eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I went ahead and did um, eight by eight just because I figured the more usable area I had up here, the better. So yeah, I just kind of went past six, went right through eight. Uh, my friend Chimbat, he helped me on uh, those two sides just to get it done a little bit quicker. So that was nice of him. He's just down there doing his own thing, but I invited him up here to help me out. Hey, look, some gunpowder. Yeah, so now we have to decide what it's gonna look up look like up here and also what I'm gonna put up here. I think it'd be kind of cool to make it sort of an Elytra exclusive place where the only way to get up here is to fly up here. Um, also, I'm gonna curve the edges and I also need to work on the bracing uh, under underneath the, uh, what you wanna call it, underneath my table. You know, this this right here will go all the way and all the way like that. Let's see what it looks like from above. Or actually, let's see what it looks like from below. Oh god, I almost hit that. I think that's a good width. Yeah, I kind of just messed around with uh, like a slight curve just to see what it looked like. But I think we're going to want a much bigger one, so I'll have to plan that out. Um, yeah, just kind of deciding how I want this to go. 
maybe kind of build up on these pillars a little bit just to get them a more a little bit more decorative and once again have these going up on both sides so yeah that is what we are working with for now but i want to actually switch topics and work on a what should i call it an afk fishing farm so we are going to uh, do that right now i have to decide where i want to put it first though and i think it might be super solid idea to put it next to our other two farms that would make a lot of sense to me so i'm going to pick out a spot for that really quick maybe i'll go up here and just take a take a look around if there's any solid spots i, I bet we have a ton of ton of iron and a ton of uh things over there too now where do we want this fishing farm to be i guess it doesn't really matter oh you know what makes perfect sense? <laughs> Putting it up here. Oh, am I going to make it? Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to fly up for a little bit. See what I'm dealing with. <sighs> okay. I think we'd want to put it up here so that way we're still, like when we're AFKing, we'll, get, we'll be AFKing above this so we get a good amount, good spawn rate down there as well as we're working our fish farm. That would be pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna go look at some tutorials to figure out how to make this thing. Shouldn't be too hard. And uh, yeah, see you in just a moment. Okay, so I was about to look up how to build a fish farm, but and then I get a text message. But then my friend um, said he knows how to build a fish farm. So, or a F AFK fish, whatever, you know. So he's gonna come up here and um, help me build that, though I don't know. I don't know how he's getting up here. I told him to fly up here because that would be cool so I can film it. But you know what? I don't see him. Also, I'm kind of curious. Oh, maybe that's... A oh, there he is. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Okay, he's got he's got a note block in place. I'm not, I'm not really sure what his... I don't know the order of the steps. I think, yeah, I don't even know what the note block does. I, I think it makes a noise when it opens or it has, something specific has to be behind the door. When when you open, oh, I mean, <laughs> scoot my chair up. Uh, yeah, some, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out in just a second. Oh yeah, let me focus on the building, not the texting. Oh yeah, so trip bar hook goes up there. There is indeed wire going across. I don't know what this, this bit is. Obviously it's an iron trap door, but I don't know the use of it. That's done. All right, that was uh, pretty fast. All right, we got a fishing rod. Let me see, hold on, back. Okay, cool, so let me think. So I have a fishing rod. I think that's all I need. So we aim at the top of the door. Well, I'm not sure we couldn't figure out why the fish farm wasn't working, so he's gonna go look at a design or two, but I am going to Swoop over here and just take a look again at the uh, at our big old table that we got going on. Um, I'm gonna decide what I want the flooring to be. I think it'd be really cool if we had some like here. I'll get here and I'll explain it. So if we did kind of like higher on one side with like grass hills type things and like a little house on a hill, and then the grass hill would come down. And the landing area, I'm going to put over here. And then through here, I think the racetrack is going to start through here. So it would be like, you land in here, coming, come sort of to the hangout area. The racetrack is here, and then the grass. And it's all going to sort of be on this um, raised sort of survival. Not survival, but like, you know, terraform. There will be grass and stone, that kind of stuff. And then also some like little buildings. So I think I'm gonna get to start on that just by throwing in some dirt. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Question is, do I have dirt? <laughs> I think I do. And you know what, I kinda like having that rainbow on the roof. Hopefully once I get it um, topped out. Wow, you really can't see that in here at all. Here, check this. Yeah, so see, I think this looks, this will, okay, I gotta move those. But that'll look better, raised up one just because the tree has clearance now. But we were here for dirt, so we got a fair amount of dirt. I'll start by piling dirt for now. Oh, you know what, I don't know if back, okay, that's, that's, that'll do. 
So I'll start by creating the hills with dirt. And maybe I'll see if um, Chin wants to come help um, do some designing. Oh, wait, do I have? Yes. Do I? Have? Wait. How is this bow shooting? Oh, I have arrows. I was like, I didn't think I had arrows. Oh, there, he did. Cool. This thing is super powerful. So, yeah, I'll start by placing some dirt. And then, yeah, we'll just work on this little hill in this corner. Yeah, we have a ton of space. That's cool. I'm glad we got that. So, I don't want to build like 100% layers, so I'm going to do it like, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to do it just kind of one string at a time, so that way it'll be like a hollow cone of dirt. The question is, where do I want it to start? I'm just going to start laying some dirt out here. And then I'll have an idea, I think. I want the hill to be like that, in that area-ish. So I'll just start going like this. I was working on this hill, but my friend just said that um, he got the uh, EFK, the AFK fishing farm to be to to work. So we're just gonna go see how that works out. Hopefully, I don't die. I have very little juice left on this elytra. Coming in hot. All right, let's see it in action. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I think. Oh. I hooked him again. I'm just gonna stand back here. Okay, I think I understand how this works now. I didn't for a while, but now I do. The tripwire is set. Right. Okay, so it has to be able to go through so I can hit the, the note block. I'm just kind of learning about this right now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it run through one more iteration. See, I don't ex I don't know how that's going to record. I don't even know if perhaps understood what just happened, but I went full screen mode. Okay. I think we got it to work. Yeah, there we go. So I just had to be a little bit more left. And that way, so I realized how this works. So with the door open, I keep clicking and the fishing bobber stays in there. Once a fish, something is caught. Oh, see, it's okay. So it's kind of working, cause it see how it opened and closed like three, four times. Uh, it should stay open, and that's what allows me to catch the fish. And I think I can put like mending on this fishing rod, and then I think I get experience, so the fishing rod would never die theoretically. I believe that would be how it works. But I'm gonna try. It. Let's see. Cool, so we got that to work. And that, awesome, so I'll be using that today. That is sweet. Cool, cool. Anyways, um, I gotta go do some homework. Hope you enjoyed the few little things we did in this episode. I plan on doing like, you know, a lot more. It's just, I have two tests this week, so it's gonna, these episodes are gonna be like a little bit shorter. So I can get my stuff done, and yeah. Also, go check out uh, the rock climbing video I made over this weekend. Yeah, I've been I'll, I've been outside a lot, so I haven't had a lot of time to film, but I will still be continually uploading daily. So I'm Spikeosaurus. See you guys next time.